morning everyone hope you all are having a great day so I haven't vlogged much lately I've been sick as everyone knows but I am on the up and up feeling better got more strength <clears throat> slowly getting my voice back and um, I'm feeling better still got a cough and a runny nose but doing better poor Don's got it now he's sick morning He's mad at me because I gave it to him. <laughs> well, when you're in such tight quarters, it's bad to happen. But anyway, uh, we were down in Laredo, Texas. Um, that's whenever I got sick. So our last run took us uh, Monday to um, up in Michigan. And uh, we drove that and delivered Wednesday morning. Uh, right after that, we then deadheaded down to Fort Wayne, Indiana, um, and we got here probably about 10 a.m. in the morning on uh, Wednesday, and we were at the Stoops Freightliner ship, Stoops Freightliner, all day Wednesday to have batteries replaced on the truck. Um, we got there at 10 o'clock, and they did not get us out until 8.30 that night. Absolutely ridiculous. But we got new batteries for the truck. Um, we had to. They Our generator was kicking on more and more. Um, they were just wearing down. So we got that taken care of. And now this morning, today's Thursday, and we are at Thermo King in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We are here to have solar panels installed on the truck. So this is a new exciting feature for us. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, basically solar panels, um, basically what they do is they provide a constant charge for the batteries. So it really comes in handy to help keep the batteries charged, um, not have to run your generator as much to keep everything charged up. Um, from what I understand, from what I've read, I could be wrong. So if anyone knows more about this, correct me in the comments. Uh, but from what I understand, it's not really, uh, from what we're getting, they're not powerful enough to like power everything in the sleeper, but it is enough to provide a constant charge to the batteries. So especially for like us, when we go home, um, we always park the truck at a truck stop because we don't have a place to park it at our house. And therefore we can't plug the truck in to keep everything charged. So when we're at home, of course, the generator does have to come on and charge the batteries up and then it shuts off. So every time the batteries get low, it does that. Well, by having the solar panels on a bright sunny day, of course, it should provide enough electricity to keep the batteries charged to avoid the generator having coming on. No one would be in the truck. There'd be nothing being used. Um, everything would be turned off. So it should provide enough charge to keep everything going and keep the batteries up without having to have the generator come on. So, um, yeah, it's, it's something that's become really popular. Um, the owner that we drive for, um, he evidently um, loves the technology. He has installed it on probably six or seven of his trucks, I believe. And he did mention that he's got um, probably another 10 trucks scheduled to go in to have it done. And uh, since we were here in Fort Wayne getting batteries replaced anyway, he went ahead and set up the appointment to have everything taken care of. And that's what we're getting done today. So, um once we have everything installed, I'll show you the final outcome with the solar panels on top of the roof. Um, they are not your typical, you know, thick solar panels that you see like in, on, you know, big fields or anything like that. These are very thin. They're flexible. It just mounts on the top of the roof. So it, it actually goes to the curvature of the vehicle and everything. So it'll be very interesting to see it once it's done. But yeah, that's what we're doing. It's currently probably about 8 o'clock in the morning. I've already checked in, just waiting for them to uh, come get us, and then uh, they will start the install process. Um, I was told that it only takes a few hours, so hopefully we're not here that long. And then once we are done here, we will get right back in service and hopefully find a load and uh, finish out the month with a couple of runs. So I'll check in with everyone in just a little bit once they get going on the install. Hope everyone has a great day. So we got our solar panels installed. Pretty quick, simple process, really. Um, there was only one guy doing it, so it took him a 
couple hours, but uh, wasn't too invasive. But uh, basically what they did was is there's two solar panels. Um, they're very thin. They're almost like paper. And they have like an adhesive backing on them. So uh, what they did was is since we have a straight truck, whereas the box is always with us and never detaches, um, they put them on top of the box on the driver's side, two panels side by side. And then they connect those together via a connector. And then they have one wire that just comes over the top of the box and down in between the sleeper and the box. And then it runs under the sleeper all the way up to the battery box and is hardwired right into the battery. And uh, there's no indicators, there's no LED panels or anything to tell you that it's working. You just assume it's working. <laughs> um, but they, we were told that based on tests, um, they actually showed in these trucks, um, if the truck was sitting with no one in it and everything turned off in the sleeper, um, except for the refrigerator, that the solar panel was able to keep the battery charged enough for four days before the generator ever kicked on to charge the batteries. So that's pretty impressive um, to go that long without using the generator um, and still have the refrigerator running. Um, that's going to save a lot of wear and tear on the generator, constantly starting up. Because normally we can get about maybe eight hours on uh, really good batteries. We can get about eight hours. Um, if we're not using anything, if we're watching TV and stuff like that, then maybe six hours before the generator kicks on. So uh, that's pretty impressive to last four days with just the refrigerator running uh, before the generator come on. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it'll especially help us because when we go home, we don't have a place to park the truck at the house because we live in an apartment complex. So what we do is, um, you know, a lot of people, whenever they take their truck home, um, we have shore power and you're able to plug it in and keep the batteries charged. Well, since we can't take the truck to the house, we have to leave it at a truck stop. And, um, you know, if we're home for a week, that's about every eight hours the generator's kicking on and running to keep the batteries charged. So uh, this will really help us, especially in our situation, because hopefully it'll be able to keep them charged enough to where it doesn't have to come on, but maybe once the whole time we're home. So I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, right after that, um, the uh, one of the owners, um, the co-owner that we uh, drive for, they actually were in the area whenever we were having it done. So we were able to meet up with him as soon as we got finished with that. And uh, he bought us lunch. So Patrick, if you're watching this, thank you so much for that. Uh, it was nice seeing you. And um, it was a quick lunch, though, because we did get dispatched. And uh, we counted on the run. It was a surface run. They didn't offer that much to begin with. We did counter on it. They came back with a counter and we got moving. So let me go ahead and give you the details on this run. Uh, this was actually picking up in Michigan and going over to California. This was going to be a 96 mile deadhead for a 2,398 mile run. This was going to be three pieces at 8,000 pounds. We got a heavy one this time. And this was regular surface. It was not white glove, reefer, or anything of that nature. So, uh, like I said, we cut the lunch short. We deadheaded up to Michigan. We grabbed the load. And uh, we're on the road now. Don just stopped, and uh, we're switching drivers. We just got fuel for me. So, I'm getting ready to make me some coffee. I haven't had none yet. And uh, then I'm going to get everything done and get on the road. So let's hope we have a wonderful day of driving and we'll catch up with you a little bit later. Tonight we are running on the right track. I know we never got to look back.
Friday, so I just got done doing my shift. Ooh, it's been a long day. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been a long day. The wind, I've been driving through Wyoming all day, and the wind was absolutely insane today. Uh, the stretch between Laramie and Rollins, Wyoming, they had wind gust of 60 plus miles per hour. Um, that stretch through there as well uh, was closed to commercial vehicles with light loads. So the wind was just unreal. I mean, just blowing the truck like crazy. Um, I even questioned, you know, myself, do I have a light load? Um, even though we had 8,000 pounds on and um, I didn't really know if we would be considered light because we're a smaller truck or, or what, you know. So I did what any self-respected man would do. I called my mama. <laughs> uh, and she was like, you should be okay. But of course, if it gets bad and you don't feel safe, then stop. You gotta listen to your mama, right? You always listen to your mama. <laughs> now, I trust my mother's decision. My mother has drove tractor trailer for 15 years out here solo, cross country, um, and then she drove straight truck and expediting for three years. So I do trust her opinion. And uh, I did keep going. I pushed through, I made it, everything was fine. And uh, so yeah, I've stopped, Don has taken over, and we are going to be at our delivery tomorrow. Um, it is Saturday, but we are getting this off tomorrow. They've already sent us a message and said that they're waiting on it. So <clears throat> from there, we have been pre-dispatched, but we don't pick up till next week. Uh, this being the Easter and everything, um, freight was just not very much out this way. Uh, but we do have a load picking up on Tuesday. So I'll tell you about that on the next vlog. But for now, I am going to have me a cup of hot tea and go to bed. So I will catch up with everyone tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. how's it going so we just made our delivery at Tesla which was pretty cool because I am a huge Tesla fan and uh, got to see the Model 3 in production which was really really cool I've only seen it on the internet and uh, never seen one in person so that was really awesome and uh, I would love to have a Model S now uh, let me tell you <laughs> uh, but being out here on the road it kind of sucks to have a really expensive car like that sitting at home and not being used but another cool thing that was uh, going on was Elon Musk was actually there whenever we were delivering. Uh, they said that he was actually at the end of the assembly line and he was uh, watching all the Model 3s roll off the assembly line. So that was really cool. Wish we could have got to, to meet him, but 
you know, he's a busy man. So, anyway, uh, like I said, we did make the delivery. Uh, we are going to just chill for the weekend in California. We got a hotel, and uh, we don't pick up our next run until Tuesday because of the Easter holiday. Not much was shipping out over here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. We really do appreciate it. Hope everyone has a wonderful, awesome day whenever you're watching this. And until our next video, keep those wheels a-turning. Take care, everyone.